One of the most common roadside plants here in the Ottawa Valley is milkweed. Milkweeds are members of the genus Asclepius. The milky fluid in these plants is toxic. Butterflies and bees collect nectar from the fragrant blossoms on these plants, but they have to approach carefully. These flowers can be deadly. The next time you see some milkweeds, examine the flower heads. You may make a grisly discovery. Dead and dying insects trapped in the blossoms. Butterflies, bees, beetles and other insects captured by the flower and held until they die. Something unusual is happening here. Milkweed is not a carnivorous plant. How and why is it trapping these insects? Let's watch what happens when an insect visits these flowers. The strong fragrance is a signal to the honeybee that nectar is present. She moves from blossom to blossom, collecting the liquid. This bee has landed on the flower. But as she goes to leave, she is trapped. The flower has seized her leg. Honeybees are a powerful insect, capable of carrying large loads and flying great distances. But as you can see, she is having difficulty breaking free from this flower. After a long struggle, she escapes. Once free of the flower, the exhausted bee rests on a leaf. A close examination reveals something interesting. She has a number of tiny yellow structures attached to her legs. A close inspection of a milkweed flower reveals these structures. Five of them spaced equally around the flower. These structures are packages of pollen and they are one component of a unique pollination process. If you have studied plants, you will know that flowers play a role in plant reproduction. Pollination occurs when pollen produced on the anther of a flower is transferred to the stigma of another flower of the same species. Insects play a role in transferring pollen. In most plants, pollen exists as a powder. This honeybee, collecting nectar from apple blossoms, has grains of pollen sticking to her body hair. She is carrying this pollen from blossom to blossom, pollinating the flowers and initiating the fertilization process. As a result, apples, containing fertile seeds, start to develop. Milkweed flowers also must be pollinated, but the process here is very different from that of most plants. The pollen in a milkweed is packaged in a waxy mass. This package is a pollinium. Plural is pollinia, and the whole structure is called a pollinarium. The black structure at the top of the pollinarium is the gland. It is connected to the plenia with filaments called translator arms. This image of a milkweed flower, captured through a microscope, shows the pollinia. They are attached to the flower head. Moving pollen from one milkweed flower to another requires that pollinia become attached to an insect. This happens when an insect arrives to collect nectar. In this animation, we have removed most of the flower structure, leaving each pollinarium in location. A visiting insect attempting to land on the flower finds its leg has attached to the pollinarium. As we saw, a strong insect will remove this structure from the flower and carry it away. Successfully pollinating another plant requires that the insect visit another flower and position one of the pollinia against the stigma of this flower. A special receptor on the stigma captures the dangling pollinium. When this happens, pollination is completed and the process of fertilizing the ovules begins. A flower that has been fertilized undergoes a dramatic transformation. The flower stem thickens and the fertilized ovary begins to swell. Swollen ovaries are visible in this plant. 
the ovaries continue to grow, taking on a distinct pod shape. Looking inside this developing pod, we find seeds and silk hairs beginning to form. By late autumn, the pods have fully matured, splitting open and releasing their seeds. Honeybees and bumblebees are important pollinators of milkweed. A close inspection of honeybees returning to this colony reveals that many are carrying milkweed pollinia. Other insects are not strong enough to pull the pollinia free and remain trapped in the flower. This pollination process is complex and there remains some debate as to the actual mechanisms involved in making this happen. For instance, if you look closely at the image of this bee, you will see a chain of milkweed glands and pollinia attached to its legs. It appears that this bee picked up one structure, then transferred the pollinia to another flower, leaving the black gland still attached. We can see that the translator arms have attached to another pollinarium, in a process that repeats. The image suggests that the translator arms are capable of attaching to another pollinarium, creating these chains. It would be interesting to determine how this attachment is made. Perhaps some sort of organic superglue is involved. Also, many insects become trapped in the flower heads and die there. You would think it would be to the plant's advantage to use these insects as pollinators by making it easier to release the pollinia. Or does trapping the insects provide an advantage for the plant? Perhaps predator insects, like spiders, are attracted to devour the trapped insects and then take up residence on the plant, protecting it from insect pests. This pollination process is remarkably similar to orchid pollination. Perhaps orchids and milkweeds share a unique evolutionary pathway. Our orchid bee video contains some details on orchid pollination. The milkweed, like so many of the ordinary things living in our landscape, is surprisingly complex and interesting. If you are looking for a unique project or thesis, this common plant provides an excellent diversity of study and research topics. More science and technology related projects and videos can be found at our website, hyloroad.com.